thanks Dan for, uh, for speaking to us. Um, uh, congratulations on uh, retaining your seat. Um, what's, your, what's your number one priority? So I'm delighted to be returned as the MP for Central Suffolk and North Ipswich with an increased share of the vote, over 60% of the vote, and uh, very pleased that uh, the people of Central Suffolk and North Ipswich have put their faith in me once again, and I will continue to be a hard-working constituency MP. Um, big issues for me are to continue to protect our local NHS. I worked successfully to manage to keep uh, heart services open at Ipswich Hospital and support uh, many of our professionals to do that. Um, help to improve mental health services in the area and fight and campaign for that. That's a big thing I believe in as a doctor. Uh, and also on broadband, you know, we've done well in getting £30 million from the previous Conservative government, Better Broadband for Suffolk, but now we just need to see that delivered. Uh, and of course, um, when we're talking about Brexit, uh, making sure that our farmers, our food producers and all of the businesses that employ so many people in Suffolk are properly supported and listened to, um, so I can make sure I can be a strong voice for their needs and make sure we protect jobs here as we go through the Brexit process. And uh, how would surprise you to hear that, that Ben Gummer lost the Ipswich seat? Well, there was a poll done earlier in the week by the uh, Ipswich Star which indicated that the Labour Party may have been ahead uh, in Ipswich um, and the previous polls, although they're fairly uh, crude, um, were uh, in previous years uh, crude efforts at gauging opinion uh, had successfully predicted the winner. Uh, this time round that proved to be the case as well and I think with an increased turnout and uh, probably a few younger voters turning out to vote in Ipswich I think that's probably what uh, made the difference um, and uh, obviously I congratulate Sandy Martin uh, on his victory. Do you, have, do you have sympathy for Ben? Uh, well of course, I mean it would be nice if we had kept um, all the seats in Suffolk um, as Conservative um, but um, the people of Ipswich have spoken uh, and we've seen that um, uh, we now have a new MP in Ipswich and Sandy Martin. Uh, I will, of course, um, work with him as best um, that uh, he can. I'm sure he'll be willing to do that to make sure that we uh, together can be a strong voice uh, for the needs of Ipswich in Parliament. And I'm also delighted that Peter Alders, um, who uh, is a good friend of mine in Waveney, has actually increased his majority to almost 9, 000, I think over 9,000 uh, in Waveney, um, which uh, I think he can be very proud of as a very, very hard-working constituency MP. So do you think it was the, the young vote that was the, the deciding factor in the Ipswich one? Well, I think in Ipswich there was uh, a noticeably higher turnout, um, close to 70%, which is very high for Ipswich. Um, and certainly um, my impression is there were some younger voters who were voting Conservative, um, but there were also, uh, I believe, in what's a growing university town, an increasing student vote. Um, I think with the Labour Party uh, promising a lot to students, which may or may not be affordable, that certainly seemed to attract their attention. I think encouraged them to go out and vote, and I think that may have been something um, that uh, could have made a bit of a difference in Ipswich. Do you think the, the Conservatives going forward will have to offer more to the, to the youth vote, which Jamie Corbyn has perhaps engaged? Well, I think we, we have done a lot for younger people, we've done a lot in Suffolk, we've reduced in my constituency youth unemployment under a Conservative government from about 300 young people being unemployed to around about 100 which is really good progress. We've um, increased the number of apprenticeships and vocational training courses in our county but we didn't really talk in this campaign enough about the economy and our success on jobs um, and uh, supporting businesses and young people into jobs and work in the area and I think that was probably something we could have made more of in our national campaign and certainly something I think that uh, uh, we have a good offer for young people in Suffolk. We're, help, we're getting more of them back into work and um, that's a good thing uh, and that's something we should be making more of the success that we've had as a government in doing that. And just looking at the, the, uh, the national picture, um, so obviously it's not been the convincing win that many have predicted for the Conservative Party. Um, do you think Theresa May's reputation will be damaged as a result of uh, this, uh, this general election? Well, I think what we've got to look at now is the fact that Theresa May is likely still to be Prime Minister tomorrow morning, depending on how the final number of seats lands. Um, and uh, at a time when we're about to start uh, some very difficult Brexit negotiations, um, it will be important that there is some form of um, government formed um, and that we support the Prime Minister uh, in those difficult negotiations and uh, what I hope is that we'll see um, all parties behaving in a responsible manner in that uh, and making sure that Britain gets a good deal. And finally, do you think, um, again, again Nash, do you think there could have been more said on, um, do you think there could have been a, a clearer plan for the Brexit negotiations, do you think the, the economy should have been highlighted more? Well, I'd like to see more of that. I think elections, of course, this election was about Brexit and delivering the best deal through Brexit. That was an important thing. 
it was very clear, I think, that uh, people recognised um, that the Conservative Party was uh, best equipped to negotiate a good deal. But I wanted to hear more, um, and I, certainly as somebody who uh, is a doctor, I'd like to have heard more about what we were going to do on the NHS and to protect and support our hospitals, as we've done here in Suffolk. What more we could have done uh, on jobs and the economy, because we've got a very good success story here in Suffolk and nationally to talk about with that, uh, and more also on schools, because for me, what matters to most people uh, are jobs, schools and hospitals, uh, and that's something we need to talk about more um, when we come into another general election, and we need to make sure that we, if we do, as I believe we will, form a government, uh, deliver for the people in those areas as well.